Hi, I'm Jeff Johnson, and this is The Takeaway. This is The Takeaway, recorded May 8th, 2016, Mother's Day. As you can see, we have a live audience for this shoot today, and uh, we've just had perhaps one of our most favorite of services ever here at San Diego Assembly. We had an opportunity to not only talk about mothers and honor them, but we got to, uh, the opportunity to talk about women and, and our young ladies, and, and, and all ladies, truly, and the idea of being able to dream again. Do you realize that uh, a young lady under the age of 18, 71% of them feel like they are being restricted in one form or another? And I think as a, as a believer that, that that's absolutely wrong. Because you see, I believe that God has come to give us life. And Jesus, in fact, said this, that I've come to give you life to give it to you in abundance. So if 71% of our young ladies feel like they're being restricted in some way, obviously they're not living in abundant living. They're not living in abundant life. And I believe that it's the responsibility of the church to be able to release our young women women, to be able to re release women, period, to be able to do that which God has called them to do. Because you see, God doesn't just give plans and dreams to, to men, but he gives them to, to young ladies and, and, to, and to older ladies. And, and I believe that as a pastor of, a, of this great church, that I want to be a part of something where, where we release women and, and we pray for them and, and we, we see God do miracles in their lives and they do great things. See, I don't know what, what everyone's dream is. Maybe someone wants to be a mom one day. But maybe someone wants to be, a, uh, be one of the Supreme Court justices or perhaps the President of the United States. See, I don't know what the dreams are that God has placed in their lives because, you see, we're all different. When I grew up in my house, I had two sisters, and, and they played with dolls. And In fact, they, played, uh, they, they pretended they were school teachers, and they set up all the, the stuffed animals in their house, and, and they did lessons with them and everything else. And i got to tell you, I never played with them. That was just too dull. Why would I want to play school? I was trying to get out of school. Instead, I was playing with cars and Hot Wheels, and, and I was making you know, exhaust noise and all those types of things, and I built models and everything else. We were different. And folks, i got to tell you, it's okay to be different. In fact, that is what life is to be about. We are to be different. And God has called us with different dreams, and he's given us different abilities. And, the, and, and what we should be doing and looking after is going after it. See, oftentimes we get restricted or people put us in, in a channel and say, okay, this is what you're going to do. And, and, and sometimes that literally sucks the life out of us. and We no longer can move forward the way we really believe we want to. And pretty soon that which is a dream is, is a distant memory. And we, we just go, well, this is what my life's going to be, and that's what I'm going to do. And I say, no, it shouldn't be that way at all. If God has placed something in your life, if God has birthed something in your life, then you know what? You've got to go out and do it. When, when the angel came to Mary at the age of 13 and said, you are going to be uh, the mother of the Savior, well, can you imagine how that conversation went at home? When you go home and you say to, to mom and dad, hey, listen, an angel showed up today and say, I'm going to be the, the mother of the Messiah. Well, i got to tell you, I'm sure there was all kinds of things that we didn't read from Scripture that happened in that moment. And there was all kinds of things that, that God had to continue to orchestrate and put together. And, and Mary, very brave, became the mother of the Savior. We talked about Mother Teresa today and the amazing work that she did for some of the poorest of the poor in all the world. We also talked about Harriet Tubman today, who was a, a real-life American hero who was born into slavery and saw all her brothers and sisters sold off to distant landovers, or landowners, and, and her family was separated, and eventually she was able to escape via a series of safe houses, which is also known as the Underground Railroad. And instead of living in the safety of the North, she continued to travel back to the South and be a part of something uh, very powerful in rescuing uh, family members and others and getting them to safety up in the North. What an amazing thing. And soon we will be honoring her on the $20 bill. And of course, we, uh, we remember some of the brave things in the, in the face of terrorism. We live in the world today where there is terrorism, and it, and it seems so senseless and cowardice. And, and when Malala was shot at a very young age by a terrorist, by a man from the Taliban who thought he was uh, acting under God's guidance, uh, he really set in motion what he didn't know set in motion for something for her story to become much bigger than anyone could have ever imagined. And she became an advocate for, for girls to receive education regardless of the country they're in, regardless of the situation they're in, regardless of the family in which they were, were birthed into, that every girl needs an opportunity. And she talked at the UN one day that every girl needs to dream. And I believe that's a biblical principle. I believe that every young lady needs to dream. 
And so if you're watching this video today, I want to encourage you to take a moment just to, to sit back and, and close your eyes and say, God, you know what? I know you're not done with me yet. I know that you have placed a dream in my heart and I've been maybe burying that for 10, 15 years, but today I want to see that dream come alive again in my life. I want a fresh spark of that to happen in my life in a way that would allow me to do that which you want me to do for kingdom purposes. And maybe you've never even thought about what God has a plan or a purpose for your life, but I assure you, He does. And it begins with a prayer. God, come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And take me into that place where you want me to serve you for kingdom good. So thanks for watching The Takeaway this week. After you've watched it, why don't you share it on your Facebook page? We've, we're getting views upwards of 15, 1,600 views, and it's all because you're sharing it. So would you please continue to do that? Happy Mother's Day. By the time you're watching, it will be passed. But you know what? It's never too late to tell your mom, I love you. God bless you. Thanks for watching The Takeaway. Yeah.